Welcome friends, I am Vivek and I am your instructor for this course on ASP.NET Web API. I will teach you how to create RESTful APIs using ASP.NET Web API in this course. So let me tell you briefly about myself. I have over 10 years of experience in software industry. I have worked both as developer and as debts in different projects for Microsoft Corporation and Visa Inc. I have worked on variety of applications like web applications, Windows applications and cloud based applications. The Windows based applications were Windows services, scheduled tasks, Windows forms and many other applications. The web applications are APIs, SOAP API, REST APIs and websites and cloud based applications include Azure. I have worked on both SOAP API and REST APIs. I have created them, I have consumed them using different tools like Postman, Fiddler and many other tools and also using test automation and I have created APIs for test infra infrastructure as well. Like things like creating simulators for replicating production systems so that the test infrastructure can consume them and use for testing purposes. In this course on Web API, I will cover topics like Web API controller, Web API configuration, routing, parameter binding, action return type, data formats, Web API filters and a project on creating Web API, HTTP client and Web API hosting. If you look on the right side on the image of this particular project, you will notice that there are areas like app start and content areas, controllers, models, views. So these are all part of the project which gets created by default when we create a Web API project. The app start, if you see app start and below the classes under it, you will see this, there are configuration classes. The configurations for routing, web API and filter config and bundle config. And controllers, if you see under controllers, there is home controller and values controller. And all the other folders contain respective classes for like areas contain help classes and scripts contain JavaScripts. The views contain different views which are available. Then there is global.asp, it's a structure of a web API project. So I will be covering all the topics which I mentioned as earlier in this particular course. Here I will create a default web API project and I will walk you through it. So this is Visual Studio and I am going to new, then go to project and in the Visual, Visual C Sharp, go to web and select ASP.NET web application. Now I am going to give a name to this particular default project which is web api intro you can give any other name and then click ok it will create it will open a new pop up with these options with web api mvc web forms single page application empty facebook so I am going to select the web api option here and click on ok. So now the project web API intro is getting created. So it will take a moment. So it's adding jQuery to this project and any other options like all the references for help pages and many many other libraries to this project. So let me open the solution explorer here. So this is the first page you will see on when this project gets created. This is a documentation which is uh, for deploying for customizing the app and for help pages and any other thing you might need to add to this particular project. So if you see on the right hand side let me expand it. So you see that there is app start, areas, content, controllers, fonts, models, scripts, views, global ASPX, then packages, web config. These are all uh, these all got added by default. So app start contains the configuration files areas contain help pages the controllers contain the controller files for home and value controllers content contains CSS files scripts contain jQuery and many other JavaScript uh, files over here the fonts contain some options then there are views some views which are added by default and so let me show you what happens when I open when I when I run this project and I am using this Firefox option. I have other options like Google Chrome and Internet Explorer to launch this app, but I am using Firefox for now. So let me click on 
run this project option. So this is a default project. I haven't done anything. I have just created a project for Web API, and that's pretty much of it. So this is the first page. It shows some documentation for if we if I click on this particular link, it will take me to ASP.NET page. See, this is ASP.NET. I'm gonna go back. And click on API option, API tab over there. So it shows all the default methods which are available. These are get get methods, post method, put and delete method, which are available in this REST API. So this is the format for get method. We have API values, we have API values and ID. For post, we have API values. For put, because this will contain a body put we have api values id this is the structure format of what is the uri going to look like so if i go to this particular first option for get api values it shows there are two body formats one is application json text json the other is the text xml application xml so what happens if i pass a request and uh, uh, for this particular get api values so let me do that and show you. So API values. So when I hit this particular uh, URI, this local host endpoint and API values, it gives me this particular output array of a string with two strings inside it and the closing part. So this is what it is saying over here. Is the text XML format which got displayed up there and the other format is application json so if the response is asked if the request is sent in json format it will give the response in json format otherwise it will return text xml format so let me go let me go back and go to the other option to get api values id now what happens if i pass a value over here let's say maybe 10 so it says it just returns a string rather than the other uh, couple of values which is which it returned earlier so if you don't pass anything this is the response if i pass any id maybe 23 or any other so it just gives a string back and this is what it is saying here as well that it returns a, a text xml response like that this is the response there are other options like post, put and delete, which I'm not uh, putting in this introduction part here, but I will be covering as when I create a project for web API from scratch and I add more options uh, for that particular API to play with. So let me go ahead and stop this application. So if you see over here in these configurations, you will see that the route config contains the route so this is the part like we have controller action id we have api controller id so if you look over here in the firefox so we have the uri api values values is the controller if you look here there is con there is a controller called values and this is the path which is uh, mentioned in this particular uh, section in the web api route template api controller id so i am not going into detail how this particular path is set i will cover that in the full course when you go ahead to the new next lectures then there is another controller called as home controller but it has nothing much in it and if you go to filter config there is uh, it just calls a method then there is bundle config which is adding jquery and some other options as needed for css and bootstrapping and others then there is register route so the route is being registered in this particular path it is for mapping the routes so as we already saw the uri path and if you go down below so all these files are being used being uh, used for launching this application 
so when I started the application in Firefox it shows us a page and it has a particular structure uh, like see this home page and it has content in it so all that content and all that structure is coming from all those help files oh actually I stopped this particular application and that's the reason it couldn't load earlier so yep let me go ahead and load again so all this structure is coming and all these uh, content is coming from these particular files for where is the yeah so this is a this is a default project and i just wanted to show you what options are available and how you can play around with with even using a demo demo app actually and i will cover all the topics which i mentioned for the topics in the remaining videos in the upcoming videos so see you then Bye.